It's almost time to start buying seeds, and it's easy to find all sorts of unusual seeds this time of year. These rainbow tomatoes seem to be very popular, but what kind of tomatoes do they really produce? What about blue strawberries and purple pumpkins? They sound delicious. In this video, I'm going to explore the world of fake vegetable seeds, and I hope you stay tuned to the end because I have something special for you. It's hard to believe that people fall for these rainbow tomatoes. How many plants do you know that produce different colored fruits on the same seeded plant? None that I know of. But these seeds look like fun and some gardeners have tried them. The ones I talked to all got red tomatoes as shown in this picture. Not all rainbow seeds are fakes. There are some rainbow blends which are a mixture of different cultivars. The heirloom rainbow blend includes black, pink, red, and yellow brandy wine, Cherokee purple, green zebra, white wonder, and orange Nebraska wedding. These are not fakes, but each plant will only have one color of fruit. You'll notice from the picture that they're also not quite as colorful as the other ones. Anytime you see a picture of one plant producing more than one color of fruit, you know it's a fake. What about blue strawberries? The sales pitch goes something like this. In 1998, some research produced a GMO strawberry when the antifreeze gene from the Arctic flounder was introduced to the berry. The result was a blue strawberry. Many myths are based on some truth. In this case, the GMO strawberry containing the flounder gene was actually produced, but it was not blue, which is the result of an imaginative graphic artist with some cool software. Actually, with today's software, almost anyone can change a red strawberry into a blue one. Blue strawberries don't exist, and before you ask, neither do the black ones or the spectacular rainbow ones. If you're looking for fake seeds of any kind, eBay is a great place to lose some money. It's almost fall and it's kind of boring. All of those reds and oranges. Why not spice things up with blue, purple, and yellow? I really like this picture. It includes a real pumpkin just to give the ad some credibility. But if you look closely at the picture, the other ones all look like they have fake backgrounds or no backgrounds at all. This makes it even easier to Photoshop this picture. Here are some fake wasabi seeds. I've never thought of growing wasabi from seed, but I guess there is an interest in this, or people wouldn't fake them. In this case, the fakers didn't even try too hard. The seeds are too small and the wrong color. Wasabi seeds are normally in the range of 5 to 8 millimeters in diameter. They're black or brown in color and have a slight wrinkling on the seed coat. The ones in the package don't look anything like this. One obvious giveaway that these are fakes is that the package contains two types of seeds. These are probably mustard and weed seeds. Both are really cheap to get. Now I know strawberries in the grocery store are getting bigger and bigger each year, but this fake is just ridiculous. I do like the title on this seed pack though. Milk Strawberry Bonsai Super Giant Strawberries Plant Fruit Non-GMO very sweet, juicy. Okay, so the seller's translation from Chinese is not very good. But how can it be both a giant and a bonsai? But at least it's not GMO. Maybe I'll try some. I love this pair of Buddhas. The botanical name on these seeds is Sapodilla solanum. A pear is neither Sapodilla nor is it solanum, which is a tomato. But these are so cute, people will buy them. And after waiting eight years for the seed to produce a tree large enough to fruit, they will be very disappointed. These fruits are probably real. You can produce your own by using Buddha molds, and legitimate companies sell these. How can you tell a real picture from a fake? Have a close look at the color. If it is all one color, it's a fake. In nature, fruits are never just one color. You see different shades of color in every fruit and vegetable. But this variation is much harder to fake in software, although it can be done. As a special treat, I have some seed for you. 
I am now selling seeds for the rare vegan burger tree. Just send $10 to Garden Fundamentals and I'll send you a guaranteed pack of seeds. It contains enough seeds to grow hundreds of vegan burgers. You might have heard this phrase, which is attributed to P.T. Barnum, who said, There's a sucker born every minute. Don't be one of them. By the way, there is no evidence that he actually said this, and the term sucker was not used as a derogatory phrase in the mid-19th century. He probably never said this phrase. It's just one more myth for us to unscramble.